Let's take a little bit deeper look at how some of these trends are may impact the pump industry. And the one global term that I like to use is that it's going to create an opportunity for intelligent pumping. And that has many definitions, and we'll give you several here today as well. Uh, but some examples are, for example, around water scarcity. Uh, one good example is in the irrigation world, where historically, years ago, although in many parts of the U.S. we still do this, they flood irrigate. And they just use water regardless, regardless of the soil need and this kind of thing. So if we can be smarter about how we use the water, uh, water efficiency is another buzzword right now that's hit the industry. Uh, those kinds of things and, and how we do that uh, with whether it be with sensors, whether it be with drives, whether it be with remote monitoring capabilities, these kinds of things, I think that's what we're going to see uh, impacting that part of the industry. Certainly energy we know. Uh, if, when you view the pump uh, energy system uh, tape, you'll, you'll hear more in detail, but you know, pumps consume 25% of all motor-driven loads. They represent 50% of energy savings potential heavily around uh, the use of drives and this kind of thing. So you know, that's definitely where Schneider is focused in working with customers to better execute that kind of thing. But another, another aspect of energy efficiency that's not as well known is what I would call a system approach. And that system approach says you know, the, 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 the reaction people might have is to say, put a drive on the pump. And we're saying, well, we like that, but let's take a little bit bigger picture here. Part of that bigger picture is there are some basic actions that can be taken to reduce energy. For example, even if you start across the line, you can use starters that have lower inrush current, lower full load currents, lower energy consumption. That's basics. I mean, that's simple stuff. Okay. Then you can get into the more complex solutions like a VFD and, and this kind of thing. But even when you have those systems in place, what you need to do and what we often don't do is to, over time, monitor the actual process to make sure that there aren't, the process itself is not deviating. If we save 20% of energy, let's continue to save 20% of energy. So you need that remote monitoring capability uh, that many of our intelligent pumping solutions offer. And then on this urbanization front, you know, the, one of the big deals uh, that we're all seeing, uh, we all have high-tech phones these days, you know, the whole web world is on us. People are looking for information and now. Okay, so the whole, the ability to remotely monitor, to control um, via using PLCs, this kind of thing, I think will be something that we continue to incorporate. We talked earlier about one of our VFD lines that has an embedded web server. Another great example of being able to download information like this, uh, that kind of thing. So I think these kinds of intelligent pumping approaches are what we're going to see universally across all these trends. Now, thank you very much for your time.